Here we go. Our next guest is, uh, <laughs> he's a comedian. And uh, he's a comedian and an actor. We've seen him on uh, ABC's hit TV show, Home Improvement. Have you ever watched Home Improvement? <laughs> as well as uh, other roles on major motion pictures, such as Joe Somebody, I'll Kill You. <laughs> and uh, a <laughs> nice little family show there. And uh, the Santa Claus. So he's... he's He's done feature films. He's, he's been on uh, mainstream television. He's, he's a comedian. He loves God. He's using his talent for the Lord. He's very Italian. <laughs> he's very Italian. He's, he's a little off, you know. I, I, I call him the Prince of Brujut. I call him the, the Gavon of Gabagol. I, uh, <laughs> I call him Hapalong Quesadilla himself. He's here. <laughs> He's a really fun guy. He's a really good friend of mine. Would you please welcome back to TVN, Jim Labriola. There he is. One minute. Uh, look at this guy. Look how good looking this man is. Look at this. Is this a good looking? This is how I looked before the plane crashed 20 years ago, folks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have a seat. Have a seat. Relax. How are I? Relax, relax. What a crowd. New York. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. You know, on the on the sheet here, it doesn't it doesn't say where you're from. So where I'm from? Come on. As soon as I open my mouth, it's obvious where I grew up. I'm, uh, I grew up in Alabama. <laughs> what, a, what a banjo on your knee! I grew up in the witness protection program. Uh, <laughs> my father said, "Pack get the cows. We're gonna get out of here." <laughs> and we're here. God bless you. Look at you. What a singer and talent. And I'm annoyed. Go ahead. <laughs> You know, we, we went out to lunch this afternoon, and, uh... Can you tell? Yeah, you, you're, uh... <laughs> he just, you see, he, he, he tells me this story about his friend of his. You come, <laughs> it's Christmas, right? He's just come to meet his friends. About one of his friends. <laughs> Who, when he orders, he makes up things <laughs> that don't exist. <laughs> and goes into an Italian deli or something like that, and you're supposed to know all this stuff, because, you know... Right, you go to Brooklyn, Brooklyn, you go to Italian deli, it just makes names up. He goes, yeah, give me uh, two pounds of agabadella cheese. <laughs> but slice it thin. The guy's... <laughs> <laughs> so, we got any gabagella cheese? <laughs> We're out. We don't have any gabagella cheese. But he's like, yeah. give me, uh, you got those pastries, give me a dozen bojuta buns. Yeah. Bojuta buns. <laughs> Yeah, put extra sugar on it, too. Yeah. The but well, you, no. This man, I went to lunch with him. I watched him eat like a gavon. <laughs> he lost weight, OK? I watched you eat. Two chins came out of me. No. Like this. That's, I'm on a new diet, Slim Slow. Slim Slow. Slim Slow. Yeah. Yeah. You're just going to sleep, aren't you? Yeah. No matter what happens. <laughs> You're waiting for Jesus to come back. All right. So, uh, you know. You, got, you come out here, you want to visit some friends, right? I come here, as you can tell, I dressed up for Christmas. I know, you got all dressed up. You got your nice blue striped shirt. Beautiful stripes from my uncle. Uh, out of respect, right. he's away. Well, did he and, take that uh, with him when he, got, <laughs> when he got out on parole? He took that same shirt, right? Well, no, he could take it, so I, I got it. it. Got but, it. Um, yeah. if, <laughs> if you notice, that's why at times we wear black a lot. You know why? Because if somebody gets killed, we're ready. <laughs> you know, right there, the thought. How you doing? Uh, you know, a lot of these guys, you know, every time they drop over, it's like, what happened, Uncle Joe? Uh, you, you know what it was? You know, you grew up in the same neighborhood. I yeah. You grew up in Jersey. I grew up in Queens, New York, a place called Corona. <laughs> Corona, Queens. Three people. Good. Uh, <laughs> we got Harlem and Brooklyn here tonight. My God, we better get along. We can kill each other. Right. Right? <laughs> But you know what? I grew up in one of those Italian neighborhoods in New York where we had a lot of crime, but no one ever saw or heard anything. <laughs> right? right? I'm blind. I'm deaf. I didn't see nothing. Yeah. And no matter how you got killed, it was always a heart attack. <laughs> right? Okay. 
That's right. <laughs> Uh, you know, yeah. you could, you could, uh, there could be a guy laying here with an ice pick sticking out of his back. <laughs> the cops would come, all of us hanging out here. What would we say? I don't know, officer, it looked like a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, the guy grabbed his chest and fell on it 17 times. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not kidding. I go to a funeral about two weeks ago, I go, because they serve good food, right? Mm. So I, I go over there. And I go to pay my respects. There's like an eight-foot coffin. I'm not kidding you. Like eight-foot coffin. I look in, there was just a hand in it. <laughs> like, you know, nice. They put the makeup on it, right? Nice hand. <laughs> With a pinky ring on it, of course, right? So what am I going to say? Like, we're all phonies when we go to a wake. You ever notice we look better when we die, right? right. Say, oh, yeah, it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Lost a few pounds, huh? <laughs> so... <laughs> So the widow, she's crying, oh, my husband, my husband. I said, what happened? Heart attack. <laughs> well, you know, if, if they ever find the body, they might find he had a heart attack. <laughs> so <laughs> so they're falling a wood chipping when he had it. No. But, uh... So you, you're visiting some old friends, though, I'm right? visiting it's old fun. friends. It's nice. Yeah. Brings back memories, New York, when we used to shop in the back of the truck. And, uh... <laughs> We had a guy, we didn't have Santa Claus, we had St. Nicky. St. Nick. And, uh... St. <laughs> Nicky had a, you told me, he had a sled in the truck. Right. And, uh... Yeah, was, the, everything was out the back of the truck. Everything was the back of the right, truck. Right. Your dad would give you $3. Right. And, uh, you went and bought a bike or something. You probably, your neighbor's bike. They didn't know, they painted. <laughs> and, uh, they painted. <laughs> I had my neighbor's bike for three years. They wouldn't say no, 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 no. <laughs> You don't want a heart attack, keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> But, and we had nice Christmases. We, we, I remember once we come down and we would have a nice little campfire going to the limb room and we'd roast uh, those uh, chestnuts there. And right, right, We didn't right. have a fireplace. That's, that was kind of weird. But, uh, <laughs> but then we would, uh, you wake up and you'd have a sock hanging there and you didn't know there was a foot in it. <laughs> you know, you, you just, you just, it's none. Well, you know, I don't know if you can tell, but, you know, I'm, I'm looking at... I don't see too many Italians out here. I mean, there's... Oh, more, you got a lot of Italians. Yeah. One, two... A couple, three, three four... <laughs> And a lot of Sicilians. A lot of Sicilians. Uh, how, many, how many African Americans here today? Here, here we go. Now, I don't know about you, but it seems like the Italians and the blacks and the African Americans, very all three of them, they all, let me tell you. <laughs> they all get along. Italians and the blacks are very, we have a lot in common. Well, you know, Sicily and Africa, they're just a little boat ride. That's another story. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta watch the Discovery Channel for okay. that one. But blacks and Italians, we did. We, we, there was Italians in Harlem on 119th Street first. And blacks and Italians got a lot in common. We like to wear hats. We like dressing up. That's right. You know what I mean? We like Cadillacs and Buicks. You know? <laughs> right? Go right along. Hey, if it wasn't for us, they'd be out of business. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. And blacks don't understand, but they, they, they admire the Italians for a lot of things. Because back in the 30s, we originated the drive by shootings. Originally. <laughs> We started that. We started that. We, you know, that's but we dressed first. up for it. We dressed up. They did. They got the tie. You still got that, 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 He had a nice three piece suit on, a hat. You know what I'm saying? Not these kids, the pants yeah, falling the band, down. Yeah. And, they, and they want to run away, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> get pants that fit, you never get caught. Right. But, but blacks of time, I right or wrong. We love, we love a lot of the same things. Right. We, we do. God bless. Are they coming towards me? Yeah, they're gonna, no, they're not Is coming the towards me. Is the audience coming no, towards that's me? That's all right, that's all right, okay. they're right there. I mean, I'll let you know when Brooklyn they cross the Brooklyn and Harlem in the same room with me? Forget about it. What happened to the comic? Looked like a heart attack. <laughs> no, I'm not. I mean, I'm not the guy. So, <laughs> so what about, like, you know, I mean, you, you do a lot of traveling, though. A lot of right? traveling yeah. now. Uh, traveling's very different. I don't like it since this guy, Bin Laden, but what was his name? Bin Laden, right? Yeah. You realize this one guy, this government we got is phenomenal. We could see a license plate from out of space. Right. Right? But it took us 10 years, 10 years to find this guy. Eight foot tall with a turban and a beard. We couldn't find him? <laughs> yeah, that right? makes sense. Let me tell you something. If this guy would have owed my Uncle Dominic a few dollars... <laughs> would have found him. That afternoon. Would have found him in three days. Right. <laughs> my uncle, when I went up to the uh, <laughs> to the president, yeah, give me a Buick, some duct tape, and I'll take my own guys. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have read in the paper. I've been lying and found Buick trunk. Hot the time. 
<laughs> no, but it's different. It's different to travel. Oh. And I live, believe it or not, you know where I live now? Uh, do I guess? Take a guess. I, not in New York, right? No. <laughs> I live in Tennessee. I'm not kidding you. Jimmy Labriola in Tennessee. Can you believe that? Like All Tennessee. my neighbors think I'm in a witness protection program. Nobody bothers me. <laughs> Nobody bothers me. They won't walk their dog on my lawn. No, get off the lawn, get up. I sit out there once a week with a shovel. Yeah, how you done? <laughs> oh, what do I do for a living? I'm a farmer. <laughs> yeah, I bury things. Take a walk. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you'll be easy to spot in Tennessee. That's, that's for forget sure. about it. Yeah. So I go now. You go to the airports, right? It's it's not fun to fly no more. Forget it. You got to go through. They got this thing. I call it the cancer machine. It's like this big, uh, the, like X-ray machine. It actually takes a whole X-ray of you, right? right. And if you don't want to go through it, they tell you, right? We got to pat you down. All right. Now the last thing I want, okay, is some guy, some you know, weird government worker, coming towards me with two blue gloves and a weird smile on his face, okay? <laughs> And then they tell you, listen, if you're nervous and you don't want to do it here, we can do it in that little room over there. Like that's not going to make you nervous. Yeah, right. I said, listen, buddy, two are going in, but one's coming out, OK? <laughs> and it ain't the guy with the blue gloves, I can tell you that right now. What happened? It looked like a heart attack. Yeah, it fell. OK. It fell down. Then they get these stupid guys now at the airport, the TSA guys. They want to check you out. Like, I get this one guy two weeks ago. comes over and he goes, excuse me, buddy, you got any firearms on you? I says, yeah, why? What do you need? <laughs> <laughs> no sense of you, Tom. No sense. No, they don't laugh at stuff no. like then that. Then you get no. on the plane, they got those dopey announcements. I can't stand the announcements. Like, what's stupid? You ever, you ever see those stupid announcements? Ladies and gentlemen, a case of a water landing, a fly in Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> In case of a water landing, your seat cushion can be used as a... <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know about you folks, but when that plane falls out of the sky, doing about 1,200 miles an hour and cracks into the water, I don't know what yours is going to be used for. <laughs> <laughs> See the big guy sitting next to me? He's going to be a raft. Yeah. Right. Now, this is my favorite one. I got to do this comment, right? Now uh, you're right. in your nice coat seat on the plane. Nice and comfortable, right? <laughs> no, no more penis. There was three in that bag. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Can I get another soda in the communion cup? Thank you. Mm. Now you're in your nice coat seat, right, folks? You can all see me, right? right. This is regular, right? right? But this is comfort. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm comfortable now, I'll tell you that. In, in case you missed that, let me bring that seat up. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Regular? Perfect. Yeah. Woo! I hope we take the long way to Europe, honey. Yeah, I can't feel like this. Great. <laughs> This is what they really think was stupid now, right? They get dramatic. Like, ladies and gentlemen, we're... <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're about to land. For safety reasons, please bring your seat to an upright position. Because <laughs> we know, folks, if this plane cracks into that mountain doing about 800 miles an hour, you ain't got a shot if you're sitting like this, right? <laughs> <laughs> But you bring that baby up about an eighth of an inch. <laughs> Look, everybody's there, but a... yeah. You're fine. I love this audience. It's love. Wake them up. So, uh, like, uh, where did you? When did you start to um, reinterpret life? I mean, the way you do. Because that's kind of what you do. You look at things that are normal and you make them extremely abnormal. Or actually make them make sense. I don't know. I'm just listening. Well, so, <laughs> like, when, when did you... How many people think we should have a show together? Am I, I right? I think so. I want to have a show with this guy. I love this guy. Right in. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, mean, I, how I, do I stood look here like a wooden Indian. And I you look, crack jokes. No, no. What I kind look, of show is that? Oh, yeah, I'd like to look like a wooden Indian. Look at me. I look like, uh, I don't even look Indian. What do I look? <laughs> 
sound like a nice, a nice Italian boy from nice. down the corner. I don't, no, from the corner? Right. Well, I mean, that, that's what they always say, the corner. What corner? So the corner right around there. Oh, what a guy. What a guy. You know where they sell the, you know, the, the gabagol. Gabagol shop. The, uh, Give the, everybody the, the, gala yeah. tonight. All right, gala well, The, the, the scafoots cheese. The scafoots cheese. Yeah, yeah. No, but, um... <laughs> and then the, the, the goo goo sauce, right. You know, first of all, they were wiring me. Being Italian, that got me a little nervous. They were trying to wire I tell me. You, yeah. I tell you, it's hard for me to talk. I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to let you know I was wired. Oh, see? see. How you doing? Okay. Yeah. Oh, see? Well. No, but I, I, and I want to say it's good to be back. This, I love this, New York, and, and, and I love the trees that you put here. Beautiful trees. I, I didn't put these. These were, were here. donated from yeah. my Uncle Dominic. Right. I just want to, uh, <laughs> they have to be back December 19th, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 19th, but, uh, no, but I'm sorry. Okay. Because, uh, like, uh, another channel needs them for their Shut up, Christmas. I can't talk. We're on camera right now. We're on camera? <laughs> like the shot.